Like and subscribe and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. In today's video, we will see the cutest crawler pets, the most adorable rodents that can fly, and the lovely white-furred Honduran bats. But let's start our video with the smallest primate to exist, a finger monkey. Yes, this kind of monkey is called finger monkey, as they're only the size of a finger. Their kids are about five and six inches tall and weigh around a hundred grams. These tiny monkeys are quite adorable. They are native to the Amazon rainforest, and even adults of these beautiful monkeys can fit in the palm of your hand. Instead of climbing up your arm or leg, a single finger could suffice as a climbing frame. Monkeys are omnivores who enjoy drinking tree sap. We don't blame you if you're terrified of fully grown snakes. In fact, we wouldn't blame you if you were afraid of the tiny ones. But we might judge you if you said that they weren't cute, because look at how cute they are! Some people believe that newborn snakes are more deadly because they won't control how much they inject or because the venom is more concentrated. Both of these assumptions are wrong. But baby or not, you don't want to give them a reason to bite you, as they do have venom to inject. Wombats make for wonderful pets, and they may act as house dogs. Yes, these are endangered species, but there is no law about not owning them. But just make sure that you train yourself not to bite first. These cute things tend to go wild very fast, but they'll be a cute addition to your family. If you still haven't figured out if you're a dog person or if you love cats more, may I suggest something more goofy and adorable with ears that you will fall in love with? Yes, you can have at your home a cuter version of a fox, the fennec fox. It can be found in the region of Africa and is the smallest kind of fox, as they can only reach the weight of four pounds even when fully grown. But they are as playful as any other ordinary pet you can own. And this will be good friend to all cat lovers out there who can manage little exoticness in their dens. Serval Cat. This wild animal is also a resident of Africa, and ferocious too. But still, you can tame them if you start from a really young age. And if you consider having one, make sure that you have enough space as they love to run and play. Box turtles can be a cute companion too, and looking after them can be easy as they carry their own homes with them. And they are not anywhere for a long time as they can live up to 50 years. They like to soak themselves in water to hydrate from time to time, but that doesn't mean that they can swim as they're actually land turtles. So other than having pointy teeth and claws, they can make very adorable pets. The rodents have the reputation of being the cutest household pets, but on a more exotic spectrum, a chinchilla can also make a good addition to your family. The chinchilla of South America can form a strong attachment with its caretaker, but it is also one of the more destructive rodents. This isn't to suggest they're dangerous, they just don't want to be cuddled. At least not quite as much as they love to run around and play. They're highly active and easily bored, so you'll need more than just a hamster wheel to keep these little guys occupied. If you ever wondered about having a cute pet that is not a bird, but can fly, then a sugar glider is the one for you. Sugar gliders are the next best thing to squirrels, and many people think they're a lot cuter. Despite the fact that they appear to be identical, sugar gliders are marsupials like kangaroos, and the female's glider doubles as a pouch where she raises her young until they're old enough to fly, or, well, glide away on their own. If you're wondering where they got their name from, it's because they love to eat almost anything sweet, especially fresh fruit and vegetables. Kinkajous are little golden brown honey bears native to rainforests that have become more popular as pets. Individuals who are well known as pets include Paris Hilton, who is rumored to be the owner of a kinkajou and a sugar glider, but only the wealthy and powerful. Famous people aren't the only ones that seek fame. These creatures are adorable. Choosing to care for a kinkajou is not a decision to be taken lightly, as these nocturnal animals have a tendency to get into things and can be rather messy. Crested geckos make ideal pets for children, since they're easy to care for. Despite their preferred diet of cricket and mealworms, the crested gecko has a pretty goofy smile and tiny hands. Just look at them, they're so tiny in the eyes as well. 
Well, we'll leave that up to you to decide. But one thing's for sure, the Crested Gecko is one of the cutest reptiles you can own. They are low maintenance to care for, and funny personalities have made them extremely popular as pets. The adorable capuchin monkey is a primate that frequently appears in films and television shows. It's well known for its small size and for its mischievous, fun attitude. Jack Sparrow's monkey comes to mind, as well as Pirates of the Caribbean. They are territorial and intelligent, and will live to be 40 years old. Unless you're able to instruct, you'll be in diapers for years. It's time for your monkey to go to the bathroom. As the name teacup refers to dog breeds that are smaller than typical, these are commonly tiny dog breeds. And they're adorable, but they're quite small and difficult to control. You can't just leave a teacup puppy alone, especially if you have little children in the house or a larger animal. Teacup puppies demand constant attention. Pay careful attention until they reach their massive mature size of four pounds. Keep in mind the obvious advantages of owning a home. Due to the small size of teacup puppies, they become accustomed to being handled by people fast and will fall in love with you. When fully developed, pygmy seahorses are the size of a grain of rice, so you can imagine how small a pygmy is. They're small enough to fit two or three of them on your pinky fingernail. These creatures are both little and experts of stealth mode, and it's really tough to locate them between the seagrasses and brightly colored fish corals that they live in. They have plump heads and short, slender bodies, a long tail and a snout. These little guys are generally very active and joyful. Other than that, there is not much known about this species. Hermit crabs spend their entire lives in the safety of their shells, which aren't actually their own. Hermit crab infants who go through numerous phases in their early existence before being laid in the water are known as zoya. In about a month, Hermit crab babies move into the second phase of their lives, known as glessithu, where they develop their legs and other body parts and are ready to venture out into the big, bad world and find themselves a shell. In the final stage, they are known as a juvenile crab and stay on the coast where they continue to grow. Keep this in mind if you're going to keep a hermit crab as a pet. The hazel dormouse has big, beautiful eyes that take up half of its face. Oh, this tiny, cute rodent is bright gold on the back and pale creamy on the underside. This dormouse differs from mice with their characteristic long, fluffy tail. They are native to North Europe and Asia Minor, and it's a nocturnal creature that spends most of its waking hours among the branches of trees, looking for food. They are a nocturnal creature that spends most of the daylight hours asleep. They would rather take extensive diversions than risk their lives by going down to the ground. Hazel dormice are granivores, which means that they eat mostly seeds from grains, but they also eat fruits, nuts, and the eggs of birds and insects. Chipmunks with their chubby cheeks, large glossy eyes, stripes, and bushy tails have made them a favorite among animators in Hollywood. However, baby chipmunks are delicate, and you'll need a lot of patience if you want to keep one as a pet. In fact, caring for a baby chipmunk entails acting like a mother chipmunk. You must keep the animal warm and comfortable, assist it in pooping, and monitor its stool to ensure that you're not overfeeding it. A poppy milk replacer is an ideal item to give a young chipmunk. A red panda's patterns and color serve as natural camouflage, allowing it to blend into the mossy woods in which it lives. This helps newborn cubs learn to conceal as they grow up in the wild. A red panda's long bushy tail acts as a blanket, shielding them from the cold. Wait until you see a newborn red panda if you think huge pandas are wonderful for cuddling. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This adorable creature closely looks like Honduran white bats. As the name suggests, they're lovely bats with white fur. Their nose is formed like a leaf, and it grows up and away from their face. The Caribbean white tent-making bat is another name for the Honduran white bat. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.